Hello everyone and welcome to this new design tutorial. In this video we will see together how to design a very simple screen that shows a list of to-dos and also how to create an alert dialog for when the user wants to create new tasks to add them to the list. In this video we will only focus on using widgets and design features to build the UI of the app but if you want to learn more about how to build functionality, check out the rest of the videos in our YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next tutorials. Let's start by creating an empty screen. Let's go to the screen tool and let's pick a size that we want to work with. We can give a name to the screen, like to-do screen. And now we can start by adding an app bar. We go to the details panel of the screen and to the upper property we select the upper widget. Now with the brush icon, we can modify the upper. Let's pick, for example, a background color. And let's also modify the title. Let's write my tasks. And let's pick another font. And we can change the size and also make it a little bit more bold and maybe we can adjust the colors now let's select the main screen again and let's also pick a background color from the screen from the details panel Now we want to design the car that shows the tasks. So it's going to have a checkbox and a text widget that has the text of the task. And we can create this card like from scratch, for example, by grouping these widgets together in a row. But this time, to make it faster, we can also use the list tile widget. So let's open the widget picker and look for list tile. The list type widget makes it easier to create cards like this because it comes already with properties that let us add a widget at the beginning, a widget at the end, and like a description. So to create a task card, we want to go to the leading property and select the checkbox widget. Then we have the title property that we can keep to be a text widget, but we can go to the brush icon and modify the style of this text widget and here there's it's where the task the task is going to be written so we can write an example for the task and we can modify the font the size and maybe we can modify also the color let's pick a dark Blue. Now we can also add a subtitle. We click here and we search for the text widget. This subtitle can function as a description for the task. So let's open also this widget editor and let's make it a little bit smaller. And also let's pick a gray color. Now we want to keep modifying the design for this card. And as a first thing, we want to add a filling color. So we go to tile color and we select maybe a color close to white. And now I want to add some border radius. And to do this, I go to the shape property. I click to plus, I remove the side and then I adjust the border radius. Now I also want to modify the spacing in between the checkbox and the text of the task. So I select the list style again and I scroll at the end of the details panel and here in the horizontal title gap I pick a smaller number. Now I also want to customize the look of the checkbox so I can select it and let's customize the colors. Let's pick an active color, which is the color of the checkbox when it's checked. Let's also change the color of the check inside. And I also want to modify the side. 
To see the side, we go to the value property, so we can see how the checkbox looks like when it's unselected. And now we add the side and we can change the width and also the color. Now let's convert this widget into a component. And to do it, we go, we select it and we go at the top of the details panel and we click on this button to create a component. Let's give a name to this component. And now we created it. Now we want to create a list of these tasks inside this screen. To do it, as a first step, we select the main screen and we go to the layout properties and we pick a vertical layout. Now we open the widget picker and we select the list view widget and we drag it inside the screen. On the layout options, we pick expand for the width and also expand for the height. So now this list view takes the stretches to take the entire width and height of the screen. Now to display this to-do item inside the list view, we select the list view and we go to the item builder property and we replace the placeholder with the component that we created before. So we click on it and we search for the component that we created. And now it's displayed inside the screen. We can also change the item count to, to see how it will look like with more uh, tasks inside this list. And now we want to add some separation in between these tasks. So I go to the separator property and I pick fixed spacing. And here I can change the amount of spacing that I want in between the tasks. Now I also want to add some padding uh, because the tasks now touch the edges of the screen. So to add more breathing space, we go to the padding property in the list view widget and we can adjust the padding as we want. Now I will just adjust the colors of this design really quickly to show the list of tasks better. And I can also keep modifying the component with the tasks. And because it's a component, all these changes that we do now in the design will be reflected also in the main screen. As you can see, if I change the color of the text, it will also change in the main screen. Now let's add a floating action button in the screen to let the user add new, screen, new tasks to this list. So to do it, we select the main screen and we, from the details panel, we go to floating action button and we search for the floating button. Now from the brush icon, we can modify the design of this button and we change the colors to match the rest of the design. Now let's create an alert dialog where the user can create and write a new task. So we open the widget picker and we search for alert dialog. First of all, let's change the background color for this alert dialog. We go to the background color property and let's select like a blue color. Now let's modify the title. We go to the title property and we click on the brush icon and here we write create new task. And also let's make this text smaller and let's change the font. Now we want to add a text field where the user can write the new task and we want, to be, we want it to be the content of this alert dialog. So we go to the content property 
and we select text field. Now we can click on the brush icon and modify the design of this text field. Let's go to the decoration property and let's add a nint text, something like an example for a task. And we can modify the style of this text. Let's make it smaller and gray. And now we can keep customizing the design of this text field. Let's add a fill color and also an enabled border. Let's add also some border radius. And let's also add a focus border. Let's pick the same border radius that we selected before. And we picked another color for the side, like a yellow color. Now let's add a button to confirm and create a new task. So to do it, we go to Actions and we click on the plus button. We click on the placeholder and we search for button. Now from the brush icon, we can modify the design of this button. And let's start by modifying the background color to, ma to match the rest of the design. Also, let's modify the text in the button and the font. And also the color of the text. Let's select now the alert dialog that we just created and also turn this into a component. We go at the top of the details panel and let's call this create new to do. Now let's add some very simple logic just to show this alert dialog inside the screen in the design to see how it looks like. And to do it, we need to click on the floating action button and go to on pressed. And here we can open circuit. Let's click on the plus button and search for show dialog. Now on the Builder property, we click on the Edit button. And here, next to Create, we want to search for the component that we created before, that we called Create New To Do. Now we can close Circuit. And let's make sure our screen is set to be as a home screen. And now we can click on the Play mode. And if I click on the floating button, now the alert dialog appears and I can write a new task. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you at the next tutorial.